hi, I'm Claire, and today we're talking toilets, but not in the way you were thinking. We're talking the plumbing of your cardiovascular system, the pipes your body runs on, and more importantly, the function that protects them. Arguably the most important part of your cardiovascular system is the vascular endothelium, the cells outside of your vessel lumen that line your vessels, arteries, and pretty much everything else cardio. But what if I told you that the vascular endothelium is so important that it dictates a major part of your health? What if I told you that its failure is considered the hallmark of all human disease? Well, that's where this guy comes in, the endothelial glycocalyx, a glycoprotein polysaccharide that protects your vascular endothelium. Essentially, a big sugar chain with selective permeability that keeps the lumen of your cells safe from intruders. The glycocalyx is attached to the endothelium by backbone molecules like glipocans and syndicans, which themselves are attached to these things called GAGs, or glycosaminoglycan chains. GAGs are characterized by disaccharide units that give rise to components like heparin sulfate and hyaluronic acid. They're also very polar and therefore hydrophilic, making them good lubricants and shock absorbers. Explaining the functions of these two components would be a whole lecture on its own, but long story short, heparin sulfate is a linear polysaccharide synthesized in the Golgi apparatus. It binds to protein ligands and regulates things like blood coagulation and tumor metastasis. Hyaluronic acid is an anionic or negatively charged gag, and unlike heparin sulfate, is non-sulfated and synthesizes in the plasma membrane. Widely distributed, it contributes to things like cell migration and the development of malignant tumors. The function of the glycocalyx depends heavily on all of these players. So this all seems fairly basic, right? What makes it so interesting? Well, the degeneration of the glycocalyx literally opens up a whole world of human diseases. Setting the behavior and consequence of mechanical forces on branches and curvatures of the glycocalyx in your blood vessels is not only an integral marriage between engineering and medicine, it can ultimately lead to a prevention of atherosclerosis, when your arteries experience disturbed flow because of buildup of plaque and cholesterol. Metastatic cancers release cytokines, which degenerate the glycocalyx and expose ligand receptors like e-selectin, leading to increased levels of cancer cell attachment. Figuring out how to strengthen or regenerate the glycocalyx could pull things like diabetes, cancer, and heart disease right out from a root. And on a whole different front, the glycocalyx could even be responsible for the uptake of nanoparticle drugs. Understanding its behavior more deeply would be a revolution in targeted nanomedicine. Nanoparticles of drugs could someday be delivered through 10 nanometer sized holes in your glycocalyx. And if you don't think that's just crazy, then at least remember this. Yes, science and medicine are about passion, but they're also about undying curiosity and an elemental need to learn to better lives. And the glycocalyx promises that. And last, I'd like to thank Professor Eno Ebong from Northeastern University for her love for science, engineering, and learning. Thank you for listening, and remember to thank your glycocalyx today.